What to say when cold calling for real estate. Hey guys, are you looking at your phone like it is a 60 pound porcupine? If so, I want you to put on that glove and pick it up anyway, because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you step-by-step how you can start sounding like a pro cold calling and how you can start doing your first deal in as little as 30 days. For those of you new to my channel, my name's Cody Hoffine, and this channel is really dedicated to helping individuals make money in wholesaling so they can ultimately become financially free. Now, I also want you to hit that subscribe button and I want you to hit that bell so it alerts you when we put out fresh new content. In this video, guys, I'm gonna share with you the tips to remember when cold calling. I'm also gonna share the four pillars of motivation, the things that you really need to look for when you're on the phone with them. And stick with me till the end because I have a free gift for each one of you. When using the phone script, guys, there's three quick and easy tips to remember. Tip number one is practice, practice, practice. This is something that you don't wanna pick up like paper and just start reading it like a robot. Hey, my name is Cody, can I um, talk to you about your house? You're gonna get hung up on all the time. So it's crucial that before you start hopping on the phone, practice, practice with a spouse, with a friend, with a family member, with whoever, people at the grocery store while you're waiting in line. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. You don't wanna sound like a robot. You want this to sound like it's just flowing out of you where you're not like stuttering, you're not wondering what's next. Tip number two is remember to listen. God gave you two ears and one mouth. Use those things proportionately. You should be asking questions and allowing them to talk. They should be talking a lot more. In fact, I would say most of the conversation, 80% of it, should be them just responding to your questions and only 20% of the time you should be talking. Tip number three is focus on the questions that are related to them. It's not much about the house. Now, again, we're in real estate, so you're thinking, man, that's crazy. Yes, you will ask some questions about the house, but focus on the questions about them. There's a reason why they called you on a 37 cent postcard. We all know 30 real estate agents that we could have called to list our home, but they called you on your postcard that says you wanna buy their home for cash. That is the real reason why we're on the phone, to find out why. Next, we're gonna talk about the four pillars of motivation. Now, what are they? These really are the areas where you need to be focusing all your time and energy so that you know the level of motivation that this seller has that you're on the phone with. Pillar number one is timeline. Now, what does that mean? Most individuals that you're talking to that are motivated, they might have an early time frame on why they're calling you and not going through just a traditional listing or listing it with a real estate agent. So timeline's big. Just recently, we had an individual where it was a Tuesday on the week. They reached out to us basically in the 11th hour and they said, not only do they want to sell, they have to sell it by Friday before they get foreclosed on. So this was going to be three, four days from the time they call us. This is how quick they need to close. Time frame is a huge sign of motivation. If someone has 60, 70, 80, 90 days, six months, the next year to sell, that might be a low case where people maybe not that motivated to sell. Pillar number two is condition. Now, condition is regarding to their home. So as you're talking to them, you have to find out what condition is it in. And the easiest thing to do is whenever I'm talking to an individual, they're giving me their address, and what I'm doing is I'm already looking it up, whether it's on Zillow or just the county assessor's website, to find out some of the basic information. And maybe one of those information, one of the things you receive is that it was built in 1970. So a good way to ask it, instead of saying like, hey, it looks like it's 1970s, I hope you remodeled it, right? That would be, that would like put them on the defense, right? So what you have to do is find ways to ask questions that allow them to explain a little bit about their property. Cool, now it shows your home was built in 1970s and that, is that correct? Yeah, it was built in 1972, perfect. What updates have you done to the kitchen since you've owned it? That's a simple, soft way to ask. Or what updates have you done to the bathroom? Or what updates have you done to the home in general? Is the roof still its original roof? These are all simple questions that start to reveal the condition. When they say, nope, it's never been updated. No, I mean, it's pretty clean, it's pretty good, but nope, it's the original kitchen, it's the original bathroom, it's the original roof. Uh Uh-oh, well the roof's 50 years old. Roofs don't last 50 years old. So now you can start to see that there's a condition problem with the home, and that might be the reason why they're calling you. 
Hey guys, I love the comments down below and at this time I'm asking you, what kind of funny stories do you have as you've been on the phone, you're talking to people, you're cold calling. I'd love it for you to share that story down below. I love reading them. I love responding to them, but share your comments. Also hit that like button, but let's share with you pillars number three and four. The third pillar guys is price. Now I hesitate sometimes to tell this because price in most cases is going to be a deceiver. It's going to be one that actually is going to throw you for like a loop. This is where most people, when you talk to them, they're going to tell you a high price. Why? Because everyone wants what's highest and best for their home. That's just natural. Now, does that mean the individual's not motivated? No, that's why there's four pillars of motivation and not just one pillar of motivation. If it was just based on price, we're going to miss out on a lot of deals. That's why I'm showing you other methods, other strategies, these other pillars so that you don't look at just price. Now there is going to be that rare occasion where someone shares with you the price and you're like, wow, that's a deal. Get out on that appointment. That's good. But more like 99 out of a hundred times, they're going to say a price that's high. And if you determine level of motivation on that high price, you're going to leave a lot of hot leads on the table for someone else to go out and close because they're finding out these other pillars of motivation. The fourth pillar is driver. Now I'm not talking about a driver for all the golfers out there. I'm talking about what drove them to pick up the phone and call you from a marketing piece. But since it's on cold calling, what's driving them to allow you to sit on the phone from a cold call? You just reached out to them and they're staying on the phone with you. What's driving them to continue to have a conversation with you about selling their home? This really is your true job. It's finding out, what's going on in their life because it's the why. It's not just about the house. What's going on that you can be a servant, that you can be a solution to these individuals, help them, and the byproduct is you'll get their home at a deep discount. Now, people do business with people they trust. I want you to think about that. We've heard that quote all the time. People do business with people they trust. And more importantly, people don't care what you have to say until they know you care about them. So how do we build that trust? It's by asking people great questions. Asking the questions about the why. One of my favorite questions is simply this, man, this seems like a great property after talking with you. Why would you consider selling it? And almost act confused. And that gets them to the why. It's not about the home. Now they're gonna be like, well, I have to move quick because maybe I lost my job or maybe they have to move because the husband lost a job and is trying to get a new job in a different state. Or maybe because they lost the job, they have to move in with mom and dad. That's what we're trying to focus on. We're trying to figure out what's going on, what drove them to the point where they can still be on the phone with you. Do this and focus on this driver and you'll find out this is where the money's made. Hey guys, like I said, if you stuck with me till the end, I was going to give you a free gift and what I want to give you, and I've included a link in the description and that is access to my cold calling script. The exact same script that I have 13 cold callers right now in my office using every single day. All you got to do is just click on that link in the description. You can get access to that today so you can start sounding like a pro and doing deals in as little as 30 days.